I remember that it was only in the intro that we were kind of like, oh, don't forget about this. Yeah, I'm Lynn yeah. and Crystal Duda. And then, ironically enough, you know, Magnus lost to Shakria. Fernando lost to Anish. Three percent. Uh, the Oscar yeah. guy said three yeah. percent yeah. before the last round or something. So, and yeah. uh, Liam Le, he needed to beat Jordan, I yeah. think, and he didn't quite manage. True. It was insane. And uh, well, the position that we uh, we highlighted earlier is on the board. I mean, how easy is this end game? Is it so? Try not to look at the evaluation bar. And, uh, <laughs> this last move does clinch it for black. Um, the black pawn is just going to step forward and cost white his bishop. The problem is, if the white king steps back, the black rook will just come and give a check, uh, winning the white bishop. The white bishop is just gone. It's doomed, and so are Anish Giri's chances in the match. And now we see a result. We do. Wow. Young Pragnananda, he wins another one. Three points for the 17 year old Indian prodigy. Zero points for Anish Giri. He is still sitting there, Anish. Disappointed, of course. It is another match loss for him. And let's head to Svade in Miami for an interview with Prague. Congratulations. Yeah, I think you're, this was really a tough battle, this match uh, in total. And finally, you found a way to squeeze out an advantage. What, what happened? No, I think I didn't play so well in this match. First game, I was. Um, having a very bad position and somehow I managed to escape. In the second game, uh, I probably had some slight advantage, but I I think that game was uh, fairly even. And the third one, I, I had a simple win, which I actually saw, but then I decided to repeat once and then, and then thought I'll go for that. But okay, I just forgot that he just could go back to the king and then it's fine. Okay, this game, um, I just got lucky that he blended with rook e3, uh, rook d3, uh, I got rook c2 there. But I mean